It's being called a top trend in the food industry, a burger blend. It mixes mushrooms with meat. It's a way to create a more healthy and sustainable burger, we're told. And several Sacramento area restaurants say they're now testing this out as part of the Blended Burger Challenge. CBS 13's Angela Greenwood is here now with more on this tasty transformation, Angela. Yeah, I guess it all really depends on how you feel about mushrooms mm -hmm. in the first place, right? right? But this yeah. is happening uh, from Roseville to El Dorado Hills and down to Sacramento. Restaurants are taking on this challenge, and the whole idea is to replace at least a quarter of the meat in burgers with mushrooms. And some chefs say that makes a better burger that's also better for you. An American diet staple with a twist that some say makes the burger better. My opinion is that it's delicious. I love, I, I love mushrooms myself. This patty looks like the typical burger, but it has a special ingredient. 25% of it is made with finely chopped mushrooms. But I think more what this is about is about tuning into the idea that we have to start consuming a little bit less meat generally. It's all part of what's called the Blended Burger Project, created by the James Beard Foundation, a culinary organization. Magpie Cafe in Midtown is just one of nine restaurants in the area competing in the contest. It chose to blend the mushrooms with its bison burger, which is served on the lunch menu and can be ordered from the bar at any time. It's always good to see kind of unique, um, uh, exciting, you know, things on a menu. And the burgers are a hit. I have tried the burger. I love it. But why change things up? The mushrooms just add like a, like a nice depth of flavor. Not only more flavorful, but more healthy and sustainable. Mushrooms are known to increase juiciness and texture when mixed with meat while cutting down on fat, sodium calories, and cost. Of course, mushroom lovers love these burgers, but what about mushroom haters? Well, they may not even know the difference. If you didn't know that it was that there were mushrooms in the burger, you'd have no idea that you were eating mushrooms whatsoever. Yeah, my husband would beg to differ oh, yeah, about that one. Know, <laughs> now this contest does run through July 31st, and you can vote online for your favorite burger. You can also you can find that link rather to do that, as well as a list of local restaurants participating in that challenge on our website, CBS13.com. I'm all for it though. My I love wife mushrooms. as well, like your husband, does not like mushrooms, and she would know if right. there were mushrooms in a burger. Oh yeah, no matter it. how finely chopped, right. he would and pick them out. Someone who barbecues with mushrooms. I don't eat mushrooms. meat, so I'm all about having yeah. anything that's a little bit different. Yeah. Well, I learned yeah. something new tonight about the revolution yeah. of mushrooms did. and hamburgers. <laughs> Thanks, okay. Had us wondering how much water is used to make a single burger. Well, according to UC Davis study, it takes 110 gallons of water to produce a quarter pound hamburger. How does that happen, you say? Well, the study takes into consideration the water the animals drink, the water used to irrigate pasture land used to graze, and the water to grow crops that the cattle feed on. Well, water also is used to process the beef as well.